Hey guys, this is my run on BFFO Global 6 Warrior Quest Act 3. This run is going to be a one turn run featuring the usual Renoir Blitz strategy. As you can see, my party 1 consists of Rinoa, Luna, Freya, and Kane in that particular order. And right here at the start, the bosses will immediately get 100% force gauge and then do their force attack. You should be able to comfortably survive it. It looks like here, it looks like it's pretty close that I died. But trust me, I ran this a few times and I survived every single time, although it's, it came close. And at the start, I had Luna Freya use the Edward LD call to inflict slip on the bosses. And that really neuters them. You, you can also use like a Setzer or Kader call, but it is less ideal because those call abilities still allow the bosses to act. And there's a chance that they may be able to break your character and mess up with your turn order. Once they come out of force mode, you can just bring in another party member to use the Raijin LD call. And Raijin LD call is quite key for this run as well. If you don't have Edward LD call, you can use Fang LD call, but your Fang would require to have a Laguna Refined Sphere equipped. And lastly, if you are worried about surviving the initial attack, you can also start with Hope in the place of Luna Freya and have Luna Freya in party 2 instead. Hope will start with Shell and Protect on the party and will reduce the damage you take. And then after that, you can just swap in Luna Freya and continue with the same strategy. What you want to do is ideally use a Force Charger in from Party 2. In this case, I use Ares, but you can also use Hope if you want to. And charge up the Force Gauge to a respectable amount, roughly about 60 to 70 percent is fine. Then after that, you bring Luna Freya in, and then I went Awakening into BT Plus. Luna Freya's main goal here is to set up prayers on the entire party. Now right here, I swap Luna Freya out, but my recommendation is to spam some energy heal with her until you get 4 stacks of her overhead before you swap her out. The main reason behind that is that if you for say lack some of the ultimate weapons, you deal less damage overall and you need more turns to complete the fight, having the full stacks of overhead on Luna Freya allows you to swap her in later in the fight and reapply quick prayer on Renoa. You can also of course just use her LD because I didn't use up her LD here. Anyway, once you hit 100% force gauge, I swap Luna Freya out for a Freya from party 2. I use Freya mainly because she can leap into the air and contribute to often damage without increasing the turn count. So this still allows me to keep the turn count at 0 so far. Coming to Kane's turn is the usual, go BT+, plus, LD and jump. Do not use his additional ability here because if you do so, you will burn through his heavy prayer and you miss out on a little bit of damage there. Alright, so coming to Renoir's turn, I'm about to go into FR into BT mode. One quick note that you do need to have a full summon mode before you enter BT mode. If you find yourself quite a far way away from a full summon mode, you can just swap in one of the force gauge charges like Luna Freya or Ares on Hope and just spam some of their abilities to charge the summon meter and then we swap in Renoir once more. I actually used one of our additional ability here mainly because I realized I do not need that many free turns to set up. The idea here is that I actually want to enter PT mode with 8 turns of boss time remaining so that I can go into summon mode later on. So it's pretty straightforward once you enter into force time. 
the two turns that you want to take is using the Reigns LD call and then her BT plus and this will leave you with 8 turns of force time remaining so that you can enter BT mode. BT mode here is pretty straightforward. You just want to do 6 Ultima Angel Wings and then have BT finisher. The idea why you want to start at 8 turns of force time is so that you can exit BT mode with 1 turn of force time remaining. This helps a little bit because you get a few extra Lancets in from Kane and Freya. But also, of course, uh, this allows you to pop the Brother Summon at 1 turn of force time remaining as well as use a Cyan LD call. My selfie on Party 2 is actually holding a Cyan LD call and Cyan himself is holding a 5 over 5 ultimate weapon so you can imagine that will deal a truckload of damage when he comes in and you see so, so later on in the fight. Now if you don't have as many ultimate weapons here set up, do not worry because this strategy should still work and I'll explain more later when I hit summon mode on what else you can do if the boss managed to survive your onslaught. As I mentioned earlier though, it is quite key that at this point you have the Raijin LD call applied. If you really don't have Raijin LD call, I think you should still be able to make do by replacing it with either a Setzer base call or a Kater LD call. The Brave Freeze effect should still render their attacks harmless once you come out of BT mode. But you do need some sort of mitigation like this, otherwise you will suffer a barrage of attacks when you come out of BT mode as you will soon see. Okay, so coming out of BT mode, you'll be eating quite a lot of full salvo plus and matcha magic plus. But as long as either one of the brave freeze effect from Kader or Sensor Call is up, or the Raijin LD Call debuff is up, you should be taking zero damage. And it doesn't matter if you get broken or anything because right after this, you'll be popping summon mode anyway. At one turn of force time remaining, Brother Summon deal a truckload of damage. And right here, whoever's turn it is, just swap it to Selfie. And she's holding a Cyan LD call with a 5 over 5 ultimate weapon. And boom, boss is dead. Now, if the boss still survives, what you want to do is swap out Selfie for Luna Freya. Use her LD to reapply Quick Prayer on Renoa. And then use Selfie's Rapture to apply Rapture debuff. By doing so, you should be able to then finish off the boss using Renoa's few consecutive turns after that. Anyway, that's it for this run. I hope the video has been helpful and if you enjoy the content, do leave a like, comment and subscribe. It really helps a lot. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next Shinryu fight. Bye!